Today on Toy Shiz, get ready for some slime action. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new Shop Disney, Disney Store exclusive Marvel's toy box, Venom. That name is terrible, let's do this again. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we're totally checking out the brand new Symbiote Slime Venom. Venom? We could do better than that. Come on. Really cool symbiote slime Venom. This is the Marvel Toy Box Disney Store exclusive. And I'll pull out the old one to show you how it kind of compares to this. Carnage is on the back. Hey kids, go buy your favorite serial killer at the Disney Store. And of course, the really cool render for this Venom. Here's the barcode as well. This guy was 15 bucks, not an upcharge. Even put slime and extras and everything else in it. Still retained that $15 price. Boy, I like what you're doing there. Disney, this is going to be fun. I've been really looking forward to this since it was surprisingly announced. I love me a good Venom figure, and I love when it spills out just slime. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Disney's Toy Box Marvel's Symbiote Slime Venom from the Disney Store. And here's the Symbiote Slime Venom all out of the packaging. And as you can see, yeah, it comes with this big old Symbiote Tendril. He's got a couple slime canisters. He even comes with his own little slime right there, which is terrifying. Slime is awesome and awful at the same time. Right here, this little syringe, for lack of a better term, right? You just kind of pop it into the slime and you're going to pull this back and it'll suck up all the slime and then you inject it onto Venom's back. The slime canister is cool. If only it was shaped like Venom's head, right? Like the good old days of Toy Biz. You get a nice bag of slime. You can put the slime in this if you'd like. It's kind of like a symbiote canister though, right? Like a symbiote sample. That's kind of cool. Venom himself, I'm really jazzed about this. I like this really cool cartoony look for Venom. I don't go for all the toy box stuff, but Venom, I make an exception. I've already bought this figure once. But I'll show you, it is different enough to call it a new Venom figure. So in that sense, yeah, I really, really do dig it. You get this really cool tendril, snake, symbiote action. It's just very reminiscent, again, of Toy Biz or Venom the Madness. And the faces are all really done nicely. Now, here's the thing. Whether or not this pops up in the movie, being that this is a push for the new Let There Be Carnage Venom 2 movie. The Hot Toys Venom that's coming out has these tendrils, which, again, it's very comic booky. We haven't seen it in the prior Venom movie. Perhaps it's something for the new Venom movie. It also kind of reminds me of, you know, the Null crossover that just happened, God of the Symbiote. So they're really pushing this goopy Venom snake kind of thing. So if it pops up in the movie, I'll definitely be stoked for that. This Venom figure, however, is pretty much the exact same release, except now it's got different parts to allow you to do the slime. He's got this big goopy green thing on the back, which lets you know, yeah, you're injecting slime, plus the big old slime holes. I don't care about having the big holes on his back. It's not something that bugs me. The symbiote tendrils thing clip right into the back on that peg hole. And then you can see the sides of his mouth. That's where the goo will come out. His jaw is rubbery. That's the only thing that moves. You can't swap the heads like the last release. Nice articulation for what he is, except they didn't fix the legs. He's still incredibly, he's top heavy. He's huge. Plus they got rid of that little peg for the symbiote tendril thing. So you can't pop that on. But in either case, yeah, you just simply put the syringes on the back once they're filled with the symbiote slime. And then you twist in there accordingly. And yeah, you just push down and you're gonna watch all that goo come out of his mouth. He's doing his best Arkham Asylum Bane impression. It's like the Vault Guardsmen got a hold of Venom and are pulling out symbio goo or whatever they're doing to him. But as you can see, yeah, here's the prior release. Now the first one came with an alternate head which revealed Eddie Brock in the mouth, which I really, really liked. This head is basically, it's the same one as this new slime Venom, except it is not removable, which is fine for me because of the gimmick and everything else. The first release's tendril is of course gone, like I said. He's got the peg hole in the back though, which we're gonna test this out and see how everything looks. But yeah, you can take this off. You could still clip it on the other one, but he doesn't have that peg hole to really secure it, which yeah, I, it's necessary. But see, once you kind of have this new one mixed with the old one, you can create this really cool 
looking Venom figure, and I'm really, really digging this. So you got alternate heads, you got all the little symbiote snakes and tendrils and everything else, you got the big goop that's coming off his arm. So you can make an ultimate toy box Venom, I'm just saying. And, yeah, even when you swap out the heads, it just looks like he's having a good time. This is a very stylized Venom, and I really dig it. I like this a lot. And as I said prior, it's very reminiscent of Venom the Madness from the Toy Biz, Planet of the Symbiotes, amidst other things. There's always tendrils, especially Carnage, all that, but God, I miss the old Toy Biz days. Look how disgusting this thing is, especially when injecting all that symbiote slime goop heck even the symbiote slime version of venom the madness the all green very cool to have this and see this guy it looks like he got doused in slime love the faces and then if you're wondering the scale it actually goes really well with the new marvel 375 it's a bigger venom compared to this but in a stylistic sort of sense i kind of dig that actually toy biz spider-man the animated series a little bit too tall and it I mean, it'll fit if you want it to, but I think they're too tall. Same as Marvel Legends. They're really not within the Legends height. This guy, I think he works best with the Marvel 375. But now, what you've all come here to see. We're going to do this whole slime action. So I'm going to get my syringes here, and we're going to suck up the slime. <laughs> this is awesome. So satisfying. Look at all that slime, and oh my god. So here's a warning for all you parents out there that are like, oh, this is going to be a good gift for the kiddos. Yeah, I would think twice about that, especially on carpet and whatnot. But we'll fill up the other one. Just it's kind of tough. It's kind of, you gotta finagle the syringe back just to kind of pull it out and then all the slime goo. Uh, this is. I'm glad I put a plate underneath this because my review station would have been covered in slime. It never goes well. And then we're gonna put the syringes, clip them, twist them right into his back right here. As it's such a venom thing to do but in the bane sense right you're injecting venom into venom and let's situate him here get the plate all ready to go see how messy this is gonna get and let's push it down and yes that is so satisfying look at all that symbio goo it's like it's like what venom always does he always has a mouthful of green slime and that's cool it's perfectly translated to the toy and now it's all over my hands and now he won't stand because he's top heavy that's one thing again he's very very top heavy let's get it going again <laughs> here it is in slow motion for you it just oozes out of those little holes in his mouth that's <laughs> a very messy toy but so satisfying and i'm just gonna dump the rest of this slime all over him such a cool toy Overall, the play value, everything else, you can buy more slime if you want to, you know, re-slime him, all that kind of stuff. So, you can use any slime. It is the semi-pain to clean him up. Basically, just put him on a plate, I would say, and let the kids go to town. Heck, you know, you're going to play with this too. But in cleaning him, just put him in hot water or something like that. And yeah, you'll, the slime will clean up, no, no problem. And go to Walmart and buy another canister. They're like a buck. You can get multiple different colors of slime. So it works. There's that legs. <laughs> this is a must have. I love this thing. I'm a big fan of Venom, but when you do these old fashioned types of toys and just make it fun and you're including something that's so Venom, it's awesome. This new Symbiote Slime Venom, I can't recommend it enough. If you already have the old one, if you're not into the slime, total pass. But if you love Venom, I would say you could make one heck of a cool Venom, to be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan of the giant syringe holes on his back, but he's a different enough toy to differentiate him from the prior release. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this new Venom. Will you be picking him up? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Venom. What's your favorite slime Venom toy out there, huh? So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, these are the good old days of just pure toy fun right here. Throwing slime or ectoplasm or whatever on a toy and calling it a day. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.